Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, day seven today. Uh, so what we're gonna be doing is kickboxing, body weight exercises today. It's gonna be very chest intensive, so a lot of push-up variations. Uh, on the boxing, a little bit more cardio style today, so quicker pace. First one's just gonna be jab cross, and I want nice consistent punching. Don't worry about the speed, but we just wanna get warmed up. And rather than just being stationary and punching, really think a little bit of movement side to side, circling as we throw those punches. Just getting our heart rate up. It shouldn't be super hard yet, but just nice, non-stop punching, jabs and crosses, making sure our chest stays up. We don't wanna be slow. Slouching over and punching down. Keep the chin up. Nice straight punches. And again, ideally out slightly up, so we're about eye level when we're throwing those punches. And just nice steady rhythm. Just gonna get everything nice and loosened up. Get our shoulders warmed up. Start to get a little bit of twist in the punches so we can get our core and hips warmed up as well. You got it, good job. Nice steady punches. Jab cross. Get that little bit of movement side to side. Awesome, great job. We're gonna start to warm those legs up as well. So what we're gonna do is it's gonna be jab, right uppercut, left kick. Jab, right uppercut, left kick. And again, a little bit faster pace, try to throw it as one big long combination. So jab, up, kick. Jab, up, kick. Don't worry about power or speed yet. Just a nice, steady, constant rhythm. Jab, uppercut, kick. And remember, when we throw that uppercut, we're turning rotating in on the right side, right? So I'm turning that jab over, rotating in on that uppercut, flicking out with that kick. Think when I throw the uppercut, the right foot's gonna come in a little bit so that I'm in position to come right in for my kick so I can go nice and steady through all three without that jab, right? Jab, up, kick. Set yourself, jab, up, kick. Jab, up, kick. Set yourself, jab, up, Kick. Jab, up, kick. You got it. Jab, up, kick. Jab, up, kick. Jab, up, kick. You got it. Jab, up, kick. Nice steady rhythm. Nice, you got it guys. Alright, next one starting on the left side. It's going to be left kick, jab, right kick, cross. And again, nice steady pace. This will kind of be our last warm up round, and then we'll really start to kind of pick things up a little bit. Left kick, jab, right kick, cross. Left kick, jab, right kick, cross. Kick, jab, kick, cross. Kick, jab, kick, cross. Kick, jab, kick, cross. Nice steady rhythm on this one. Want to be punch kick, or sorry, kick punch, I should say. Kick, Punch, kick, punch. Get everything that heart rate up. Nice steady rhythm. If you're feeling good and you can speed things up, that's great. Good job. If you're in between, you need to take a shuffle to throw that right kick. That's okay, you don't have your balance down yet. So kick, punch, shuffle, kick, punch, shuffle, kick, punch, shuffle, kick, punch. Shuffle, that's okay. You'll get to the other level where you can just throw all four. All right, next one, we're gonna do a high knee block to the elbow, double jab cross, high knee block on the right side, okay? Really think about getting that leg up there. It's like if someone's trying to kick me and I'm blocking that midsection, coming back with four straight punches, blocking on the right side. On these punches, full extension, and really try nice speed on all four. So that block, one, two, three, four, block. Block, one, two, three, four, block. Big thing on this one, when you're blocking arm, don't bring it out here, because then when someone hits me, it's coming in and hitting me as well. I want my elbow tight to my body, and the leg comes up to perform a nice protective barrier there, right? Boom, block. Come out from my four punches, block. Block, one, two, three, four, Block, block, one, two, three, four, block. Again, those punches all the way out, but slightly up, so think you're punching to your eye level. It's gonna get a lot better shoulder workout, okay? Boom, one, two, three, four, boom. Boom, one, two, three, four, boom. You got it, nice and high. 
elbows, and knee touch on those blocks. Okay, guys? Great job. We should be pretty warmed up now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to step in on the jab. And this is going to be about speed, and it's going to be about power. So think we're literally stepping in on every jab that we throw. And we want to throw it nice and hard and come back. Hard jab, back. Hard jab, back. So as I'm stepping in, I'm really committing in. As I throw my jab, I'm turning it over. This hand stays up nice and protected. And then I'm stepping out and bringing that hand back in. So keep that pace going as I explain the technique, guys. Boom, those sharp jabs. Good. Stepping out, throwing that jab. If you want to move with it, move with it. That's great. Little angles either to the left or to the right. So after we throw our jab, we're moving off that line of attack. So we can't be countered. But again, keep that right hand nice and fixed. Flick that left all the way out and bring it back in. And remember, when we're turning that hand over, it's like my thumb is facing a downward angle. I want to turn it all the way over, okay? Turn it over, turn it over. Jab, 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 jab. Focus on that speed. Fast in, fast out. Nice. So, next one is going to be a cross. We're going to balance ourselves out. We're not going to step on this one. We're going to rotate through instead, okay? So then, boom, rotate through, set yourself. Rotate through, set yourself. Left hand is up, elbow into the rib cage, so that left hand should not move the whole time as I throw this punch. My left side stays nice and stationary, okay? So let's throw some speed and power on those as well. Boom. Rotate all the way out, come all the way back in. And same idea, that hand's turning all the way over, that thumb's facing down, okay? So really put a little bit more force into this one and then think as fast as you snap it out, you want to snap it back just as fast. Because you're only exposed when you're punching. So you want that gap between when you punch and when you're protected to be as short as possible, okay? Boom, protected, boom, boom, boom. Rotate through, so watch the hit. Boom, falter, 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 all the way. Nice long punch. You got it, good, good. Snap it out there, all the way out. Keep that left hand tight. Rotate through. Doing this one properly. Just really getting the heart rate up there now. Especially if we're really accelerating through. We're going to have power. We're gonna put those together. Jab cross, okay? So it's gonna be left, right, back. But then I want you to go side, side, back to the center. So we're slipping two punches in between, okay? Jab, cross, slip, slip. What the opposite? Jab, cross, slip, slip. Try to do both so that you don't just get comfortable doing it one way, okay? And these are gonna be speed punches. Back, slip, slip. 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 Nice fast punches, nice fast slips. And when you're doing those slips, hands stay up. Your eyes want to look, but your hands should be at your cheekbones, okay? Punches, slips. Punches, slips. You'll find slipping to your left and then right side is a lot harder, feels less, less comfortable than the opposite way, but make sure that you do both so you don't just get into that one round. Fast punches, fast slips. You can do a couple on the same side, a couple on the opposite side. You got it. Great job, guys. Next one's gonna be an all kick round. So we've done this one before, we worked on it yesterday as well. All kicks, ideally above the waist. That's a little bit too challenging, at least above the knees. This one, I want arms up, hands at eye level, okay? Keep those arms nice and high. Non-stop kicks. You got it, good. Push it out, push it out. Non-stop kicks. Two on the same side. Alternating kicks. And if it needs to be those low ones, that's okay. But focus on speed. Keep them out, keep them out. Wanna get that heart rate up there. This one's as fast as you can go. Ideally want to be kick, step, kick, right into it. If you need to take that shuffle step to set your posture, do it. But try to accelerate your pace, okay? As fast as you can on this one. Again, keep those hands up nice and tight. Keep pushing, nice fast pace, 
Double up. Nice. Finish that combo. Still working that jab cross, okay? I want you to go high and I want you to go low. So hard jab cross high, come back, step in, hard jab cross low. So this one's not just gonna be a steady cadence. I want you to step in, boom, boom, back out. Step in, boom, boom, back out. So more powerful, more explosive punches on this one, okay? Jab cross, back, jab cross, back. Jab cross, back, jab cross, back. Jab cross, back, jab cross, back, jab, cross, back. good. Both punches, when you throw them, should come from this protected position. So up high protected. When I come back, same idea here. Down low protected, so I'm not letting my hands drop, not letting my posture come forward to throw those body punches. Staying high and tight, step in, back out. Staying high and tight, back in. It's just my legs that are moving my torso up and down. So I can go high. Then I can come down to the body, okay? Keep that posture high and tight as far as your hands and arms go. Power out, power out. Nice. Next one, we're gonna do a little bit of movement, okay? So think the pattern is gonna be in, out. In, out. When you do this, left foot, right foot, right foot, left foot. Get that down first. Once you have that movement pattern down, we're gonna add in a jab on the way in, jab cross on the second time in, okay? So jab, out, jab, cross, out. Jab, out, jab, cross, out. You're gonna feel this one very awkward because the hardest thing to do in boxing and kickboxing martial arts is always punch as you move. But that's also when someone's not expecting it and also you can get away. So ideally, someone thinks they're safe, I capitalize on the jab, move before they can hit me back, and then come back in on the jab cross and move before they can hit me back, okay? Always better to do the hitting than take the hitting. And it's a great workout for your legs and for your lungs. So everything we do is dual purpose. Gives us a great workout, makes us strong, keeps us healthy, boosts our immune system also uh, learn how to kick some butt at the same time. Okay? All right, next one, guys, we're going to start to double up, triple up on sides. So it's jab, right hook, right uppercut, let's kick. Jab, right hook, right uppercut, left kick, okay? Jab, hook, uppercut, kick. Jab, hook, uppercut, kick. Jab, hook, uppercut, kick. Keep pushing. Remember, technically, Turn out that jab, rotate right in on that hook, rotate back, rotate in on the uppercut, and then as you rotate back, you want to try to transition into your kick. If you find that one a little bit too challenging, off the uppercut, step in and throw the kick, okay? So if we're doing that step in, it's going to be boom, boom, rotate, step, and kick. Get a little bit more advanced on it, so it's going to be right from the uppercut to the kick. It really just depends on your balance level, okay guys? So that little step is fine, or right into that kick is fine too. You got it. Hook, uppercut. Awesome. We're going to start to triple up now. Jab, cross, left uppercut, left hook, left kick. Jab, cross, left uppercut, left hook, left kick. So we'll go to it slow, push the pace if you got the combo down. Jab, cross, uppercut, hook, kick. You got it. Remember, when we're throwing those hooks and uppercuts, jab, cross, I'm rotating in on the uppercut, coming back, rotating in on the hook, coming back, rotating through on the kick. And same idea, if you need that extra balance, it's gonna be that uppercut, hook, step in, throw that left kick, okay? Jab, cross, up, hook, kick. Jab, cross, up, hook, kick. Jab, cross, up, hook, kick. You got it. Jab, cross, up, hook, kick. 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 You got it. Keep pushing. Jab, cross, up, hook. Kick, jab, cross, rotate, rotate, 
Hard kick. Rotate. Rotate. Hard kick. Remember, always finish your combo. What we're going to do is going to be a wide push up. So I want your hands intentionally nice and wide. And if you need to do it on your knees or your toes, just go based on your strength level. But think extra wide on the hands, okay? And then we're going to drop in as deep as we can and back up. Biggest thing on this one is I want full range of motion. So I want your chest right to the floor. So I'd rather have you do it on your knees and go all the way down so that we can really get nice and deep through the chest. If you want to make this one even harder, you can have your hands elevated on something. That's going to make it even tougher. But otherwise, nice, deep push up. For demonstration purposes, I need to do mine on my knuckles just because I have a bad wrist, but you're more than welcome to do it on your hands, but nice and deep into the chest. And again, knees is fine. If you want to do it on your toes, that's great too. But biggest thing is chest and hips come to the ground at the same time, right? I want to ideally not try to have just my chest and head drop or have just my hips kind of hit the ground with my chest up nice and high. You want hips and chest all to come to the floor at the same time. Nice and deep. Floor, same time. Awesome, great job. Next one we're gonna do is we're just gonna do literally getting up from a prone position. So we're gonna be flat on our back. We're gonna roll over. No, it sucks. Let's do it. Alright, great job guys. So now we're going to get into our body weight exercise. This first one's going to be a nice wide push up. So we're going to have the hands out nice and deep. When I'm demonstrating, I'm going to be in this position here just because I have a bad wrist, but on your hand is totally fine. Okay guys? So we're going to be in that wide position. Drop down deep into the push up and back up. If you want to do this on your knees, on your toes, just go based on strength level. The biggest thing is hips and chest and head should all come down at the same time so it's a nice flat surface that's coming down into that push-up right nice flat surface driving up nice flat surface driving up and if you're doing it on your toes that's great too but same idea nice flat surface and then driving up so really think about belly button sucked in core nice and tight keep going on your push-ups guy while i talk about the technique with the wide position with your hands dropping in nice and deep so by going wider with our hands, we allow ourselves to get a little bit deeper into the chest, okay? So we can really target where we're feeling it with our hand position. Don't let the head drop down. I know I always see a lot of you guys with your chins tucked forward when you're doing the push-up. That's just because you're trying to recruit extra muscles to help. Really think posture is nice and tall and chins up when we're doing those push-ups, okay? Next one we're gonna do, guys, is gonna be a side-to-side -side leg raise. So think, my legs are going to be up, bend your knees if you need to, but we're going to be dropping to the side, back to the center, and dropping to the side, and I'll spin around so you can see it a little bit better. But legs will be up, arms are out wide to support, dropping down to the side, up, dropping down to the side. Think about keeping your core nice and tight and engaged. You got it. Good job. Good. The biggest thing on this one, you don't want to fall. You want to control as you come down. Drive up, control as you come down. So really think about using your core as that counterweight to your legs. So as I drop down, this gets tight and engages. This gets tight and engages. Good. Tight and engages. Good job, guys. Keep that core nice and tight. We're almost there. Keep driving. Good. Right. Next one is going to be a short squat. It's going to be the harder version. If that's a little bit too difficult, just do a regular squat. Otherwise, I'm going to be down in a crouch position here on my toes, and I'm just going to be squatting up halfway. So just up to halfway and back down. Literally, you're trying to stay on your toes the whole time on this one, okay? So it takes a little bit more balance. If you find it a little bit too challenging, you just need to do a squat at the top. That's totally okay. Otherwise, crouched, I want my hamstrings and calves to fully touch each other, and I'm just trying to come up halfway. So I'm really burning out the bottom position of that squat, 
And whenever we're in the bottom position of the squat, we work the inside of the knee a lot. So this is really good for building strength and building knee stability, okay guys? So this portion of my quad right here, both sides, really good for strengthening up our knees. Good. And we want nice, steady momentum. You're gonna find it starts to burn pretty quickly, especially if we have that steady cadence going. But try to stay on the toes if you need to take a break. Take a break at the very bottom position. And if we're doing that alternative, we're just trying to squat down as deep as we can. Next one, guys, narrow push-ups. Again, I'm gonna do mine on my elbows because I have a bad wrist, but otherwise on your hands and think we're in this position here as we do the push-up, okay? And if you need to do it on your knees, do it on your knees. If you need to do it on your toes, do it on your toes. But those arms are gonna be close with this close arm position, a lot more for our triceps, okay? So they back the arms, we're gonna do a lot of the work. So you'll find this one a lot harder because it's a smaller muscle we're trying to lift ourselves with. But same idea, I think chest is open, pull the shoulders back, that's the position I wanna drive from. Chin stays up, keeping my spine nice and straight, especially as you drop down. Don't let your head drop too. So if you find your forehead touches the floor before you chest, you know you're tucking the chin, okay guys? Otherwise, in that straight position there, and if you're doing it from your toes, same idea. Everything comes down together. Hips, chest, head, all in alignment as we're coming up and down through this, okay? You got it. Good job. Push through, push through. Again, stay nice and tight. You start to fatigue on that one, you can go a little bit wider, but really try to stay into that as much as we can. Next one, we're gonna do a bicycle on the back for the abs. So think one leg out, the opposite elbow to the opposite knee. So my left elbow to my right knee, as I come in, I'm switching. But I really think about where I feel it, I wanna feel my core. So I don't wanna just, come through this for the sake of moving. I want to literally think about, as I come in, I'm squeezing. As I come in, I'm squeezing. So really think about the muscle that you're trying to work here. And if you find it a little bit too tough to come all the way out with your legs, and you need to do it shorter, then be shorter. But just focus on the tension of where we're trying to feel this exercise, okay? So I'm squeezing the abs, and squeezing the abs. Good, keep pushing, keep pushing. Good, nice steady movement. If you can, straighten those legs all the way out. Fantastic. You got it. Good. Keep pushing. Good job, guys. Keep it going. Fantastic. So next one we're going to do is just going to be an alternating lunge. Focusing on speed. If you want to make it harder, we can go into a jump lunge. You kind of start to pick up the rhythm of uh, our focus today. A little bit of total body. But stepping forward into that lunge and back. Stepping forward, back. And ideally on this one, we're trying to move with speed. Okay guys? Try to move with speed. Go a little bit slower if you need to, to keep your technique. And if we want to make that one that advanced version from the lunge, it's going to be that jump. But same idea. Focusing on the speed. And again, when we're doing that lunge, keep pushing your pace as I do the technique, guys. 90 degrees in that front leg, 90 degrees in that back leg. Core is in, abs are tight. Think like someone's gonna hit me, I wanna be braced. Chest is up nice and high. I don't wanna maintain that. So what we see a lot is collapsing forward in our lunge. So think, when I step, I flex. So almost think as if I'm stepping, it's like somebody's striking me. Boom, keep the abs tight. Boom, keep the abs tight. And push that pace as fast as you can. Fantastic. We're gonna do a push-up. We're gonna do alternating high-low push-ups, okay? So this is gonna be the hand position that we're doing. So I think one hand is gonna be down low, one hand is reaching out over your head, drop in, switch. Switch, one up, one down. Keep pushing it. Knees or toes, just go based on your strength level. Go think push up here, push up here, push up here, push up here. Keep switching that hand position. And if it takes you an extra second to get into position, 
That's okay. Again, I started doing mine on my knuckles because I have a bad wrist. Too much boxing. One up, one down, one up, one down. Keep that chin nice and straight, guys. Remember, head up. I know a ton of you are probably dropping that chin down to your chest. Chest up as we do and rotate those push ups, okay? Chest stays up. Chest stays up. Chest stays up. And keep pushing that pace. Nice, steady rhythm, as many as you can. Start to slow down. Slow down that breathing as you feel like you're getting a little bit more fatigued. Next one is going to be a short leg raise into a full leg raise into a half leg raise at the top. So, what we're going to do in position, hands on the bottom, up halfway, down, up all the way, down halfway, up, all the way down. So, half at the bottom, full. Half at the top, down. Half, full, half, down. Half, full, half, down. And remember when you come down, try not to hit the ground and rest. Stop just above the floor, stay braced. Come back up for that half and same idea, don't touch the floor. Stay braced. So I'm not touching the floor. I'm not touching the floor. So on that half, top half, Think as you come down, use your abs to stop your momentum. So drive into it, squeeze, drive back up, and then down. So we're always thinking about where we can get that extra contraction through the abs. You got it. Good. Good job, guys. <laughs> Next one we're going to do is a runner's lunge. So think, just like you see at the starting block, one leg's forward. Hands are on the ground. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump, switch my legs, alternating. One comes down, one comes up, one comes back. And with this, I want my knee to come as far forward as I can. If you find the jump a little bit too challenging, just step instead. So if I'm doing an alternative, I'm stepping in, and I'm stepping out. So I'm trying to stay in that runner's crouch position. Otherwise, Jumping those legs, try to focus on speed. Good. One in, one out. And really think about pushing that pace. Chest stays open, head stays up. Just like when we're doing our plank, we're not letting that hug, head tuck down. We want to stay nice and tall. So think about looking on a 45 degree angle forward. And that should keep your head in the position you want it in as you drive through this lunge, okay? Looking forward, yeah. you'll find this one starts to get pretty tough for your hip flexors. Just means you're getting stronger. And then what we're going to cap things off with, guys, is a burpee into a pulse push-up. So we're going to drop into our burpee at the bottom. We'll do three short and one long push-up. So I'll show you. Drop down, kick it out at the bottom. Three short, one full push-up. And then back up. Drop down, kick it out. Three short push up, one full. Back up into it. If you can't kick out on the burpee, do the step. And if you need to do the push ups from your knees, that's fine. Do those three short reps, then the full. Back up, back in. If you can do this one on your toes, that's great. Kick it out. Get down for your three short, one full. Back up and keep pushing. Chest high, keep things open. Anytime you want to set your chest, just think about dropping your shoulders back, opening your chest up, that's always going to help with your posture. But drive it out, three short, one full, back in, push that pace. Last round, guys, I want to see a lot of reps. I want to see a lot of reps. Push that pace right to the back. Three short, one long. Done. We're going to get a uh, double fist bump for today. It's a nice challenging one. So day seven in the books, guys. I will see you tomorrow uh, or the next time you do your workout.